Hello guys, uh, welcome to Malik Jaya 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Uh, as I said, this is a continuous series of videos on uh, grid infrastructure installation and uh, Oracle Rack database creation, where uh, I'll be installing the various flavors or various versions of uh, uh, database or grid infrastructure installation or the Rack database like 11G, 12C, 18C, and 19C. So in my in our previous videos, we uh, we gone through virtual box setup and OL installation and now we will see how to create users and directories for the uh, different versions so as you can see my uh, virtual box here I already have OL5, OL6, OL7 and OL8 so that you can see it here uh, you know what are the various versions various versions of OL we installed OL5, 6, 7, 8 and also we did some custom partition swap and guest additional CD image and uh, you know prerequisites rpms and you know configuring etc hosts so everything is done here all this OELs are ready so and now I'm, I'm going to I'm going to create users and directories so you know since I have various versions of uh, OELs so my plan is uh, you know uh, OEL5 what I will do I will uh, create OEL5 node 1 and node 2 with 11 G GI and DB and uh, I will go with the OEL6 node 1 and node 2 with the 12C GI and the Rack database and OEL7 I will go with the node 1 and node 2 18C GI and database and OEL8 I will go with the node 1 and node 2 with the 19C GI so this is my uh, quiet setup I am going to do it but OEL5 with 11G since it is uh, uh, what I can say the the support date is ended for OEL5 as well as uh, 11G database so I will take it, it as a end so now I will start with the OEL6 with the uh, node 1 and node 2 and 12C GI and database so for that you know I created a document of some steps here so OEL5 node 1 and node 2 uh, it's going to be 12C GI and DB so the groups and users are going to be uh, O install ASM DBA DBA you know ASM admin and rack over these are my groups I'm going to create so I'm just giving the group add so that you know it will uh, dynamically allocate the group ID for that if you want to assign a group ID you can pass iPhone G and then the group ID so I don't I don't bother about my uh, group ID so I'll just use this group ID here and then uh, user add hyphen u hyphen u is the UID this is 1001 I'm assigning to the grid and uh, user add hyphen u 2001 i'm assigning to the oracle user and uh, you know primary group hyphen g small g is a primary group o install is a primary group for grid and also hyphen g o install is a primary group for oracle as well and hyphen d this is my home directory for oracle sorry this is my home directory for grid user and hyphen d this is home directory for my oracle user hyphen s is a bash for, for bin bash is uh, for grid as well as oracle so once i create a grid user i am modifying using user mod hyphen a append with hyphen g the secondary uh, group for the grid user it is asmdba dba rack so ASM admin and rack upper these are the four secondary groups I'm adding it to the grid and similarly for Oracle user also user mod hyphen a hyphen G the capital G is a secondary group I'm adding ASM DBA DBA ASM admin and rack upper to all my Oracle uh, users this is how we will uh, create uh, you know a group create a groups and the users and then the director structure is going to be uh, you know uh, user and app oracle product 12201 db home 1 is my uh, database home and user and app 12201 grid is going to be my uh, grid uh, or a grid home i can say gi home so i'm going to give the full permission for user one and uh, i'm going to give full permission for app and then i'm changing the ownership for 12201 for grid and oracle under user on app so this is this is directory I'm going to change it to Oracle owner and this directory I'm going to change it to grid owner and I'm just verifying it so I already logged into my server I quickly verify ID Oracle so it might have got created by default because we installed those prerequisites RPMs ID grid so grid is not created so uh, no we can proceed the grid user but Oracle user is uh, already created so we no need to worry 
so the question is how this oracle user created so you remember like we install this uh, m install uh, uh, m install this uh, prerequisites rpm so i'll just quickly show you those prerequisites rpms if i have it here uh, so, okay yeah here it is uh, oracle rdbms server 11g 12c and the prerequisites install for 18c prerequisites install rpm for 19c if you install any one of these rpms so by default uh, the oracle users will get created so uh, already we have oracle users so we no need to worry for oracle users so we can directly go with the uh, you know grid user uh, creation so o install is there already asm uh, dba group is there dba group is there asm admin is there rack upper is there so most of the uh, most of the uh, uh, groups are already available so we can directly go with the uh, creating the grid users sorry uh, creating the grid user i will just run this command okay user is created i'll modify i can run all command in one shot okay what it says uh, asmdba does not exist okay grid uh, dba is exist it's already succeeded here and um, asm admin is not there and rack upper is not there so what we can do now we will create a uh, you know we will run all this command because uh, nothing gonna happen if user is already exist it will skip and if it is not there it will uh, you know create it so i'm just going to run it group add all these groups okay so o install it says already exist and it skipped o install creation and dba is already exist and dba also it skipped and asm dba it got created and asm admin it got created and rack upper it got created so now uh, what we can do we will rerun it again okay now you know we have added all the groups for the grid user and also uh, since oracle user is already available we no need to run this uh, user add so but we, we can run this user mod and we can add this secondary groups to oracle user right we can add it we have added all the secondary groups for oracle user just to verify id oracle you can see there's a lot many uh, you know groups added for oracle users since uh, the default uh, this backup dba km dba and uh, you know upper and this a uh, lot of the groups already assigned to oracle user nothing to worry with that so you know let it be uh, verify the grid user id grid so id grid already uh, id grid also got created with the uh, o install as a primary group and uh, o install dba asm dba asm admin rack upper as a secondary group so groups are ready so now we will create with the mkdir directories i will run all this directory creation together right both the directories are ready i will change user own permission to triple seven and then i will log into user one i will give triple seven for apps as well this app as well so yeah app is now triple seven then i will go inside user one app i have this uh, 12201 for grid and oracle for uh, you know oracle home so i'll change this 12 as a grid owner and oracle as a oracle owner ch one run and ch one iphone r oracle colon oracle if you can see grid is changed for this 122 and oracle is changed for the oracle directory so now just verify using ls iphone ld okay we have db home one owned by oracle that's good and verify the second one we have this grid directory owned by grid so that's fine so now uh, creation of users and directories are uh, you know fine with this uh, OEL 6 so we'll start with the OEL 7 and OEL 8 now